The future is the ultimate unknown. There's no more coveted knowledge than what's going to happen. But isn't prediction impossible? The only thing certain is uncertainty. The weather can only be predicted so well. Human behavior, no less unpredictable. Does this field introduce a question of credibility by virtue of calling itself predictive analytics? That's a credibility question that I'll address partway through my presentation. I'm going to introduce predictive analytics, um, describe how it drives value across business applications, across industry sectors, by way of what I refer to as the prediction effect, which is that a little prediction goes a long way. Then I'll take a look under the hood a bit about how predictive models work, especially in terms of what I call the data effect, which is that data is always predictive. And then I'll touch upon an advanced topic, which is optimizing for persuasion or influence with regard to operations such as marketing analytically. Whereas the Obama campaign analytics team actually rendered a predictive score for each individual voter. So in a nutshell, while Nate Silver competed very publicly, and he was on all the talk shows in the US multiple times, late night talk shows, everything, he competed very publicly to win at forecasting the outcome of the election, whereas the Obama campaign analytics team competed very secretly to win the election itself. So which is more powerful? This speaks to the fact that predictive analytics empowers an organization not just to predict the future, but to influence it by virtue of that defining point that it produces a prediction for each individual. And those millions of per individual predictions directly inform actions, treatment, outgoing behavior of the organization for each individual. So let's turn to a little bit more precise definition of predictive analytics. It's technology that learns from experience, <clears throat> learns from experience. By experience, I mean data. So, you know, data, maybe not with this crowd, but is often considered kind of a boring word, right? Data is a deal killer at cocktail parties. <clears throat> I, I know from personal experience. I have the data. <clears throat> but that's because you forget data is actually a long list of things that have happened. It's a recording and encoding of the collective or aggregate experience of your organization, from which it's then possible to learn from it how to render predictions for each individual. You actually don't need to predict accurately in order to drive great value. Predicting better than guessing is oftentimes more than sufficient when optimizing the performance, the actions, the outgoing treatments en masse over millions of organizational decisions. It skyrockets the bottom line profit by a factor of more than five to $1.15 million, which is such a big deal. It's such a dramatic difference that I actually paid my graphic designer, who I pay by the hour, to make this explosion star thing <laughs> to express myself. Because I'm a robot, I don't, I don't have emotions. <laughs> you're not in the restaurant for food, right? It's a sales call, you're selling yourself. Right? <laughs> I'm a dating coach. <laughs> um, so it's very important to predict ahead of time which outgoing treatment or message is going to lead to a positive outcome and which might lead to a negative outcome. So how many people here saw the movie Groundhog Day? that this provides for him the unprecedented superpower to test different marketing treatments on the same prospect under exactly the same circumstances to see which leads to a positive outcome. You weren't uh, in broadcasting or journalism? Mm -mm. Believe it or not, I studied 19th century French poetry. <laughs> what a waste of time. I mean, for someone else, that would be an incredible waste of time. It's so bold of you to choose that. It's incredible. You must be a very, very strong person. Yeah, you weren't in broadcasting or journalism, anything like that? Uh-uh. Hmm. Believe it or not, I studied 19th century French poetry. La fille qui j'aimera sera comme bon vin. Que c'est bon fiera un peu chaque matin. You speak French. 
So the, the sad fact in life is there's no do-overs. So literally then the only recourse we have is to predict which treatment would lead to a positive outcome. But what is Bill Murray on the left here predicting? He's not just predicting the outcome. He's not just predicting the future, the behavior of the prospect. Will she fall in love with me? He's predicting which treatment, which action towards her will lead to the positive outcome. I call this the data effect. Data is always predictive. There's always something in there. That effort is worth it, getting into that form and format of the training data where you're juxtaposing something you knew at one point in the, pa in the past right next to something that you then later f found out later and you would in general like to be able to predict and that juxtaposition of this incredibly valuable thing. You always find predictive patterns, correlations to help predict. This is the excitement. Big data, the big is about excitement. And it's because data is experience from which it's possible to learn to predict. And you get these great business results. These three examples in marketing. First Tennessee Bank in the US, lowered direct mail cost 20%. Improving the return on investment of the marketing campaign by a factor of six. Large retailer Target improved direct uh, mail by 15 to 20%. And Premier Bank Card, which is a major credit card issuer in the US, reduced mailing costs by $12 million. This customer would otherwise have stayed around. It's a sleeping dog customer. We want to exercise the adage, let sleeping dogs lie. Don't trigger customers to leave who otherwise would stay. Predictive analytics has such a big influence on our lives as consumers. As you walk down the street in your normal daily life, our experience in modern society is dictated by how we're treated and served by all these different kinds of organizations. And they, in turn, more and more, are driving millions of decisions a day with predictive models in order to determine who to call, mail, approve, test, diagnose, warn, investigate, incarcerate, set up on a date, and medicate.